Hello. Right now I'm going to show you my design for a one mide hidden staircase. You can see. It's pretty fast. And it's really small. And I'm going to show you how to build it. So you can see the idea is it's just a flat floor, but when you flick the switch, there's a staircase you can go down. And this is infinitely expandable. You can it would go down as far as you want. It's not seamless, but it's small, so it's worth it. All right, I'm going to show you how to build it now. So let's begin. To start, you need nine solid blocks of your choice, two hoppers, six redstone torches, four redstone comparators, 16 observers, one target, two redstone dust, one sticky piston, and or eight sticky pistons, and four normal pistons. To begin, let's start with the block swapper, the hopper thing. Alright, so to start, we're going to go three blocks from the furthest right and place a solid block. Actually, forgot a lever. You need a lever. We're going to place a lever on that with redstone torch on the side and two hoppers pointing into each other like this and in this right hopper I forgot to mention this but if you wanted you can just dig up some of the ground blocks around it but you need two stackable blocks which can stack to 64 and then comparator on either one and on the furthest left one, a block in front of the comparator with a redstone torch. Observer reading the redstone torch. And then on the right comparator, observer reading it facing upwards. And an observer facing inwards. And a sticky piston in between these two observers. And a piston on either side, like that. So if I place a block and I get another block... This is the first block swapper. It swaps between the blocks. That's the name. But right here, this is where the stair goes. Okay. So that's the first one. For the second one, I'm gonna you're gonna put all the pistons in the same layout. Then Observer reading the comparator facing this way. Observer running into the piston. Then an observer running into the sticky piston. Then here, gonna have an observer reading the comparator. Observer reading that facing upwards. Or no, facing right. And an observer facing upwards into the piston. And this pretty much steals the signals from the other one and makes it work, except it doesn't push back up. So it's one layer deeper, only when it, when the stairs are shown. So that's the second layer of this. For the, the next two layers, we need to do something special. We need to get the sticky pistons, and place four of them like this, and two normal pistons like this. Or no, two sticky pistons like this. And then a normal piston over here. And stairs going like this. Now what's strange about this is this is a Jeb door. Pretty much. This will... I get some redstone blocks. They extend like this. And then extend upwards covering this up, but then, on the retraction, the stair is missing, so we use this block, this piston, to push it back. So how do we do that? We're going to get an observer downwards, like this, two like this, I think, yeah, I'm going to double check, I was right, two like this, and then one like that, another like that. 
two upwards, and then a, two blocks, and a redstone dust. So that should be the whole side thing done. Actually, we need to update this quickly. Because right now it's supposed to be like that. So by activating this, it does the whole thing. Then you need to go down and to the right compare the right observer, place a block, a comparator, a block on its face, which would power this one, then a redstone torch, a block, dust, target, another torch, and then another block. And that should be the whole Jeb door. Now we just need this piston here. Then finally, to make sure this one powers, another torch goes here. And that should be the whole staircase, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, this stair is here. And then it's gone. And it all worked. Now you can replace some of these with something that looks a little nicer. I like smooth quartz. You're gonna need to replace this torch here. But other than that, that should be it. And I'll build around here so you can see it better. Actually, we don't need those. So you can see it in action and tell how it's supposed to work. You can cover these blocks. You can't cover this one because that's where the piston goes. You can't cover that. There's a torch, but you can cover this. So not quite seamless, but pretty close. Then if I flick this, it goes from being a staircase to gone. And if I flick it again, staircase gets revealed. This is pretty cool for secret entrances, if you want to hide your base or something. But yeah, that's the whole thing. Hope you followed along well and got it built. Goodbye.